Joanna Mammon, Magistrate McQuand granted the order after Prosecutor Michael Reza filed an application seeking to have Han. Mammon examined in accordance with provisions of the Mental Health Act after she recently failed to appear in court to stand trial on charges of communicating falsehoods prejudicial to the state. The magistrate said Han. Mammon should be placed under the supervision of the superintendent of Harry Remand Prison, while some neutral doctors assess her mental aptitude before her trial commences. Han. Mammon, who had been out of custody on bail, was arrested by Zimbabwe Republic Police members together with opposition MDC Alliance Party Youth Assembly leaders Cecilia Chambiri, aged 31 years, and Net Moreover, aged 25 years, and charged with publishing or communicating false statements prejudicial to the status defined in Section 31A, right parenthesis, i.e., of the Criminal Law, Codification and Reform. Act and publishing or communicating false statements prejudicial to the status defined in Section 31, A, right parenthesis, EAA, of the Criminal Law, Codification and Reform, Act. The trio was also charged with defeating or obstructing the course of justice as defined in Section 184, 1, right parenthesis, F, of the Criminal Law, Codification and Reform, Act. Magistrate McQuinn told on Mamu, Chimbiri and Morova that she vetoed their bail application after being convinced that they were compelling reasons not to admit them to bail. Han. Mamum, who is represented by Alec Machade Hammer, Jeremiah Bamu, Rosalyn Hansi, and Tina Mudashoko of Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights, went missing together with Chimbiri and Morova on 13 May 2020, when they were abducted in Hara, and were only found on 15 May 2020 after being dumped in Bindaura in Mishonaland Central Province. The trio has already been charged with committing public violence after they were arrested on 26 May 2020 for allegedly participating in an anti-government protest against hunger during the national lockdown period as defined in Section 37 of the Criminal Law, Codification and Reform Act and for contravening Section 5.3a, as read with Section 5.1 of Statutory Instrument 99 of 2020 of Public Health, COVID-19 Prevention, Containment and Treatment, National Lockdown, Order 2020 Post published in Featured 